At 19 years old, Millie Bobby Brown can do it all. She's acting, she's producing, she's running a beauty brand, and now writing a book. It's incredible. It's her debut novel based on her family's real life experiences, and it's called 19 Steps. Mm. Millie, hey. Hi. What can you not do for yeah. real? <laughs> <laughs> whistle. <laughs> you can't whistle? No. Wait, for real? Yeah. Wait, I feel like Hoda can teach you that? how to whistle. She's a great Wait, whistler. I, I, well, I don't know. I can do it with my fingers. Oh, see, yeah, that's all very impressive to me. I can't do that. I really? Like, yeah, can and you I snap? have. Can I you... can snap. Okay. Yeah, I just don't have. I have met many animals, and I, I can seem to just never whistle. So my dog was running away from me the other day, and I just started asking a stranger, Can you whistle for me? <laughs> do you ever just. Like, you have a cat, right? I have a cat, yeah. I have a cat. And uh -huh. do you just say, hey, here, kitty, 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 kitty? I, yeah, I, I'm ch 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 trying okay. to make all the... I can do all the other sounds, like the shh, shh. But the whistling <laughs> okay, just doesn't is, seem By that. the way, that is the doesn't, funniest thing. Yeah. yeah. Can others in your family whistle? Yeah, everyone else can oh, that's just, whistle. Oh, yeah, so that's it's not inherited. Thing. We better just okay. dig into this <laughs> later, not I on know. the show. Okay, wait, we have to talk about 19 Steps. Yeah. Yeah. I read a review where the ending said your grandmother for whom this is dedicated, mm -hmm. would be proud. Mm -hmm. um, this is based on stories that she told you mm -hmm. before bed. Tell yes. us about how it all came to be. So when I was younger, uh, I couldn't sleep, and so I would crawl into her bed, and I would say, Nanny, like, can you tickle my arm and tell me the stories about mm -hmm. your childhood? And she would tell me these stories about her experiencing World War II, and like, yes, of course, that th there is a lot of tragedy within the stories that she was telling me, but there was also a lot of humor and a lot of love and community and friendship. And I felt like this could be something really important for people to know about. So um, I started putting it on paper. And you kind of took her stories, fictionalized them. 19 steps, what does that signify? So my grandmother was raised in Bethnal Green, um, where she uh, she grew up. My mom grew up, and Bethnal Green, the Bethnal Green tube station, is where she yeah. would seek shelter from mm -hmm. the German bombers. So one night um, there was a faulty sound, and um, their kind mm -hmm. of go-to is to go down the steps, going to the Bethnal Green tube station, and one person fell down those steps, mm -hmm. and the rest followed. And over 100 people died, most of oh, them being geez. children. Um, and that's due to the steps being unsafe with, you know, uh, mm -hmm. a too dark of a light yeah. and, you know, mm -hmm. handrails, some tiling problems. And so um, it was one of the biggest civilian disasters uh, in World wow. War II, not due to the war. Um, mm -hmm. in England. Wow. So as that um, review said that your grandmother mm -hmm. would be proud, <laughs> yeah. first of all, what do you think she would think and what, mm -hmm. are your, what does your family think mm -hmm. of this? My nan would feel... Hmm. She was very... I was actually talking about this to my mom. She was very empathetic to the situation and hmm. very worried about upsetting or triggering hmm. anyone's trauma. Hmm. She actually had a friend that had lost her whole family in it, and she visited... You know, she, she would frequently visit, and she would always tell us to not mention it, hmm. to never mention it, because hmm. she was so worried about the trauma that it might dig up. So she was... I think she would be really hesitant about, you know... Mm -hmm how it's explained, but I think she would be really excited overall. And my family are really excited. Aww. It's really weird because it's such a personal story. Yeah. And when you're talking about it so casually, totally. uh -huh. when your whole life it's been like something that you've just held on to forever, it's it's kind of a strange but very therapeutic. Did, did your healing. grandmother get to see your some of your success? Was she able to witness? Yes, she, and she did. You know, when she got diagnosed with Alzheimer's, she um, I was I was in the industry. So she was able to she was able to see some of the stuff, but sometimes she wouldn't understand it because of the Alzheimer's, so mm -hmm. she would kind mm -hmm. of know it looked like me and be very, and then she would have these moments of clarity where she would know it was me. So, um, yeah, it, yeah, but I, I like to remember her the way I remembered her without yeah. Alzheimer's and me, t you know, and her telling me all these stories, and yeah. she had a lot of, um, but she did have a lot of clarity in moments. I wonder if she'd love your fiance. She would. Oh, yeah, yes. she would. She definitely <laughs> would. I know. And I still like I, I, I frequently think about that. My nan would have been like, oh, he's very handsome. <laughs> 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 yeah, she would have loved him. Uh -huh. um, and you're, you're all are planning a wedding. Yes. yes. How wedding planning can be both beautiful and sometimes stressful. How's <laughs> it going for you? No. It has not been stressful at all for me. I'm, no. I mean, Jake is very uh, he's very involved. He's very helpful during the whole the whole 
process. I've never felt alone in it, which I think is really nice. Mm -hmm. um, I'm always like, is this a good idea? Is this a good <laughs> idea? And he's, you know, but ultimately it's just a very intimate day for the both of us and we're really both very excited. John Bon Jovi, his dad won't be singing, will he? Or, or, <laughs> wow. might, or might he? <laughs> I, I feel like that's like asking me to go and like do like a full on play. <laughs> for I think the man needs a break. He doesn't stop. He's yeah, like exactly. always doing tennis or singing lessons. Yes. I like think he needs, he needs some, a break. A bre maybe it's a three hour break. I don't okay. know how much he he'll... could just be the father of the groom. Yeah, I, think that that would be I know just that would be fine. wild. That I don't know if he'll fine. be able to, to, to do just that. Um, so, OK, 19 years old. I think back to when I was 19 and you mm -hmm. don't actually really want to know what I was doing because it was reported. <laughs> there's there's um, proof. There was what reports, you were doing. Yeah. It, but um, you have such a beautiful maturity. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. How do you still get to ha have fun? I mean, are you allowing yourself to be a kid and at all? Oh my gosh, yeah. I mean, I. Um... Yeah, I mean, I am 19, but there's only so much you can really do. I'm not somebody who likes to go out, and I'm I'm a homebody. I love my animals. I love being home with my fiance and mm -hmm. my family. Um, that is the fun that I see. Mm -hmm. um, it's really it's boring, but like no, chopping it's... up the vegetables and going to take out, to, you know, take them out to my <laughs> pony is like the best part of my day. Aww. Wait, and you raised a baby lamb? I did. Oh, I sweet. did. Yes. Um, at the very beginning of the year, I was able to. <laughs> this <is> totally normal. <laughs> Where did you find that baby lamb that was just mm. want? You couldn't whistle to it, so how'd you I get it? I couldn't. It's true. He, um, he, I, there's someone I know in my in my neighborhood that had, you know, their their sheep had babies. So mm. I was like, okay, I'll take one. Took one, and then I was like, oh, I can't put this thing outside. Like he's baby, he needs me. Yeah. So then I got him a stroller, and I actually was going into a. A grocery store, and I was I bought diapers because he was sleeping in my bed, yeah. and uh, people thought I was pregnant, <laughs> and so there was like neighborhood gossip. Millie's pregnant; she's not told anyone. I was like, "You guys, I'm about to go in the adult section of the diapers because he's getting so big." Uh, so Wait, he slept in the bed. He slept in the bed every night for eight weeks. Oh. Wow! But he was yeah, and but you like, better and wash the sheets. I know he has nothing. He was so good. I would wash him with like you know the sheep shampoo and um, and brush him, and yeah, me and my I feel like we just like absolutely love taking oh, care of this. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. This I feel is... like you're the true life There's... Snow White yeah. or something. Yeah. yeah. You're like a real Disney it's character. Dr. Dr. Do little. Yeah, yeah, Dr. Oh, yeah, yeah. Little. That's yeah. It. All right, don't go anywhere because Millie's gonna play a game with us, a revealing game right after this. We are back with actress and author Millie Bobby Brown, and we wanted to learn even more about Millie. It's a game we're calling Is, is Millie, Millie for Really? All right. <laughs> Okay, and we're gonna we're gonna try to tell. This is why we're dressed up as detectives. Uh -huh. You're gonna tell us a story, and we're gonna decide: Is Millie for really? Is this a true story or false? So okay. tell us the first. Okay. okay, okay. My godfather is actor Matthew Modine. One time, he came on a road trip with me and my family, and he accidentally ate a dog biscuit filled with CBD, thinking they were for humans. Okay, I believe CBD, the CBD dog biscuit, biscuit but that's I don't. Too that's too specific no, of a detail. I believe, no, I believe I it's believe, for really. It's, it's not for really. <laughs> it's Sorry. definitely not for really. It is for really. Yeah. Wait, I called it Matthew really. Matthew Rodine? Yes. Did you, is he the one that inspired this? you to act? He is uh, like my, uh, yeah, he is just like a huge oh my influence God. in my life. But we took him on this road trip and he is a little <laughs> clumsy. And he, I watched him eat it and I didn't say anything because... Obviously not. <laughs> and uh, he slept for about four hours. Uh, okay, wow. we're ready for the next one. All righty. I filmed the audiobook for 19 Steps while nursing a baby kitten and would, have, and would have to take breaks to bottle feed her. I'd say that's for really. That's absolutely yeah. true. Yeah. It's for really. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. What, yeah. Is that still your is that still your kitten? No, I, fost I fostered, fostered her. Kid. So now I found her a new home. Her name was Tiger Lily, but she would be like, Meow. Oh, it is actually and in I the market. Like, for a cat. You are? I'm allergic. I can't. You can cat. you can take Allegra. I I have a cat. She You takes, can take Allegra. <laughs> that's what she does. That's what I do. And she has I'm allergic, allergies. but I would never give up on that. Okay, next. No, never. Okay, okay next. <laughs> Pipe in mouth. I once made a dress out of the wool from the sheep that I have personally raised and cared for, and I wore it to a red carpet. You would never shear no. that sheep. No, no, you, you would did not, not, girl. Do that. You we would have read bed. about this. No, you slept in bed with the sheep. No, not you did not. It. You guys are right. Good job. <laughs> that is 
<laughs> not for really. You and wouldn't. you are right. Shearing sheep is okay, but I would not do that because no. I'm just like, you know what? You be you. Yeah, grow <laughs> your hair long. <laughs> okay. Um, my family members had a dog that won a race. So in order to keep entering it into competitions, they painted it a different color. But on the day of the race, it rained and all the color washed off. Was the dog sounds, pink? Was that's the dog such purple? A, sounds like such Very a weird Very specific. Detail. I say it's really real. It is for wow, really. What color did they paint it? What color? <laughs> We're hustlers, is what we are. Um, it, I think it was like a, a dog. The, the the dog was definitely like white, and it was like a black. It was bad. Did it work? It didn't. It didn't. It but didn't. hey, it's worth a shot. All right. We love you. Thank so you, much guys. Fun. Thank you so Congratulations much. Congratulations about this book. Yes. Pick well, it up. It is beautiful. Read yeah. it with your teens. Buy it for your kids. It's incredible. You can check it out. 19 Steps is available right now at today.com slash books or wherever you buy your books.